Hi all and welcome to your channel. This video is going to be a video with a little bit of a difference today. It's going to be a follow on from the video I made about why Everton have to leave Goodson Park. Um, and a little bit of history that I've done about it. So if you like this video do me a massive favour and subscribe. I had a lot of uh, views on the, the Goodson one. So it'd be nice if you did like it because I had loads of good good feedback about 54,000 views on a video and I've got just under 2,000 subscribers so if people like the video please subscribe to the channel you'll be able to see more okay thank you so why am I here this road is called Jesse Hartley Way okay and the reason why I'm starting here because in the last video there's a lot of sadness in the comments about leaving Goodison Park and the history in us and I thought I need to make this video because Everton's history now goes, goes back a lot further than 1878 okay so this road was named after a man called Jesse Hartley who was born in 1780 although Jesse Hartley had no experience he was the first professional dock engineer in the world and he built most if not all of the docks on the Pills waterfront so Everton's new grounds is basically being built on the foundations of even more history the first dock he built was Clarence Dock back in 1830 and the last be in Canada Dock in 1859. Looking down here now, when I look towards Bramley Moor Dock, and it's not far from Jesse Hartley Way, okay? Then looking the other way, look further down, that is the Albert Dock, which he built in 1845 and was opened by Prince Albert. But most importantly for Evertonians, Bramley Moor Dock was opened by and named after John Bramley Moor in 1848. John Bramley Moor was born in 1800 in Leeds and at the time of the dock being opened and named after him, he was the chairman of the dock committee in Liverpool. Although it was a mixed use dock, it's done mainly coal trade, coal handling for export and bunker coal for steamships. After the decline of steamships, the dock continued to export coal. Then, following the demise of coal mining, the dock ceased coal exports in 1988, 140 years after it had opened. The dock would then sit decaying for the next 29 years. Then in 2017, Liverpool City Council, Everton Football Club and Peel Holdings reached an agreement to acquire the dock to build a new football stadium. And this is where we are at now. All this land below here as well is going to be redeveloped in the next few years I've seen plans for what's going to happen there and it's going to link pretty much link up Bramley Moor Dock with the city centre going right the way along the dock roads which again is going to be amazing for the city I'll be making a separate video about this redevelopment uh, with aerial footage and try and get some photographs of what it's going to look like once it's been finished here we are getting closer to Bramley Moor Dock now. John Bramley Moor died in 1886, eight years after it ever performed. Now I'm wondering, would he have seen Everton play in the early days? Would he have known who Everton were? If he did, I'm pretty sure he'd be proud of a name linked to the stadium now. 
although he moved away long before his retirement from Liverpool. He's buried here in Toxted. So, he must have had still had connections in Liverpool up until the day he died. And with Everton being eight years old before he died, it'd be poetic if he's been to an Everton match. So, although it is sad for Everton to be leaving Goodison Park, Everton were around before Goodson Park and they're going to be around long after Goodson Park. So there's really no need for the sadness in the comments of the last video. As Everton's history now runs a lot deeper. Okay. Be happy that you're at Goodson Park. You made the memories at Goodson Park. There's a lot of memories there. Well over 100 years worth. Now it's time to make new memories at Bramley Moor. The memory of the old grand old lady will live long, it always will do. And children who are going to Goodison now will tell their grandchildren of the memories that they made with their dads and their granddads. But they will be making new memories at Bramley Moor. There she is in the background, and in years to come, will just be a memory, but a very good memory for a lot of people. I'm going to leave this one here now. Uh, if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. Again, if you're not a subscriber, consider subscribing to the channel. Tap the bell notification, and you'll be informed of when I've brought out new videos. I don't normally do voiceovers like this, I normally do them on the ground as I'm looking around, but this is more of a history video, so I thought I'd do a voiceover on this one. Just so it didn't stumble over my words and get everything wrong, okay? So if you liked it, please subscribe, and I will see you all very soon. Goodbye.